for joining me on my channel. Today's easy meal for the busy family is not going to actually be a recipe, it's going to be a meal planning to help you save money, to save you time on making those meals. So there's a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need to make sure that you have some sort of system set up for your meal planning, a list and a pen. You're also going to take survey of what groceries you currently have and what meals you might be able to make from them. So right now we're using dinner menu of the week and it has each day of the week and we just plan for dinner. Now this worksheet uh, my dad made himself so either you can make your own, you can look online and find one that works for you or if you have a planner that you can order an extra little insert for. Um, sometimes the craft stores have them. Um, I know Plum Paper Planner has an extra add-on that you can order or um, you can find all different kinds of things out there that you can plan for your meals. And you can always use more than one of these if you need to plan for two weeks or if you need to plan for a month. Um, and you can also put B for breakfast, L for lunch, and D for dinner if you need to plan for all three meals. So what you're going to do is a list and you can just get a notepad from the Dollar Tree or whatever scrap of paper you have and a pen. And then you're going to need to look in your freezer, your cupboards, and your fridge to see what you have on hand. Okay, so right now I know that we have some rice. We have some pulled pork that we made that we could easily defrost and make into a meal. We have some fish. We have some Italian sausage that we could use for pasta. Let's see, breakfast things. We also have some meatballs. Um, some sliced sausages. Some tater tots and french fries. And chicken wings. All right. Now we're gonna check the fridge and the cupboard. Right now we have some beef broth, some sour cream, Parmesan cheese some bacon, some mozzarella cheese, some leftovers, um, tortillas, and we need to get more veggies and some more shredded mixed cheese. And let's see, just the basic condiments. So let's put down our tortillas and our bacon and mozzarella we have some baked beans, we have some rotel, we have some more broth and some rice and noodles, well ramen noodles anyways. We have some basmati rice, some pasta salad, pasta, some stuffing, and some pasta. We have some potatoes, some garlic, and some bread. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at your list of things that you already have on hand at home and see what meals you can make from that. Okay, so we have pulled pork and we have tots, we have bread, and we have barbecue bean or baked beans. So I am going to put that for one of the days. Okay, another thing that we have, we have the meatballs and the sausage slices. We have some pasta and we have some tomato sauce. Now the tomato sauce is not the spaghetti sauce, so you could always just add some of that garlic to it and other spices. So we're going to go ahead and put pasta with meatballs and sausage on one of the days. I also saw a can of refried beans in there that I forgot to put on here. So what I can do is I can bake the tortillas or fry them because they're corn tortillas and put the refried beans on top of it with the cheese and some lettuce and tomato and have tostadas or chalupas depending on what you would like to call them. We have bacon and we have bread but we don't have lettuce and tomato so why don't I just put down BLTs with um, let's say the fries because we have fries and we usually do go out on one of the 
weekend nights um, of payday, but I'm going to go ahead and I will meal plan for all three uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So looking back over here, we have chicken wings. So let's just do chicken wings and pizza on Friday. And you can check to see if a frozen pizza is cheaper or ordering a pizza saves you money. Then since we have some broth and we have some potato and some garlic, um, let's go ahead and let's make some soup for Saturday. And then we have the stuffing. And so we'll just go ahead and make a casserole on Sunday. Okay, so now we have every day planned. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab a new list or a new sheet of paper and you're going to write down what are the ingredients that you don't have that you need for your weekly meal. For example, the pulled pork, we have the pulled pork and the bread, we have barbecue, we have the tater tots, and we have the baked beans. So we don't need anything for that day. Tuesday, let's say that we really want the spaghetti sauce, so then we'll just make sure that we put down pasta sauce. And we always like having garlic cheese bread with our pasta. Now for this, we just needed the lettuce and the tomato. Which is fine because we also need it for that. On here, we need the frozen pizza. For the potato soup, we just need little baby carrots and onions. And for the chicken and stu chicken stuffing casserole, we will just need the chicken because we have everything else. So of course this list is going to look different if you're needing to fix lunches and if you're also doing breakfast. As you could tell in the freezer, we had several uh, frozen um, breakfast meals. Uh, my dad usually takes a frozen lunch. And uh, one thing that you can do is you can make sure that you have enough leftovers and you can use it for lunch the next day. If it's just for lunch for you, if you make your kids lunches, um, just make sure that you include that into the list. But this is one easy way to at least make easy meals for the busy family and stretch your dollar for the week. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoy it and I hope that these tips were useful and helpful and have a great day and God bless. And if you like this video, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe.